afternoon. Hello. I'm trying to think of an alternative intro because I listen to some of them back and they're all the same. So I'll be going, hello. And how are we, chaps? That's a good one. I like repeating that. That's uh, so. How are we? Hi. Ah, uh, joking. Uh, uh, brilliant. So, yeah, this is episode 34. We're back. Um, had our first hater last week. Shout out. I can't remember Hello. the name. Greg and Thank Kyle you for the have, feedback. Uh, yeah, Greg and Kyle have listened to them. I can support who I want. I, I'm, not, I, 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 I'm not a problem with that. I don't support an old firm team. Maybe yeah, but your logic doesn't count because you su- you're, if you're saying I can't support Rangers because I'm from Dumfries, you support Newcastle and you're from Dumfries. I think you'll find that's explicitly not what the hater said. The hater explicitly focused on the fact about Scottish football. They didn't say I couldn't support a Premier League team. My one gripe is they used the full stop instead of a comma, so that, that kind of means we win. The Euro Muppet was a separate point in their argument because they put a full stop instead of a comma. Two separate uh, points? But nah, to be fair, thanks for the feedback. I don't mind a wee bit of hate. To be fair, Greg's been waiting and his inboxes have been empty. He's yeah. been waiting on it since episode three, I think, we said to message him. Oh, yeah, keep messaging me. I want your hate. So, yeah, welcome. Those two are rocking Queen's tops we've seen before. I don't know if I've worn this before. It's, a, it's not quite oh, a Rangers oh. top, but it's a, it's a Lime brand one, but it's basically Holland, so we'll go for it. Um, it literally is. Is that the Dutch flag as well? It basically is. That's literally a Holland top. Sorry, it's a Holland really? top. Yeah, it literally is. I like it. From Dumfries, we've got a Holland top. Mm. I'm Dutch now. So, yeah. There's no Dutch to be spoken. So, yeah, we've got a few discussion points for today. We're going to talk a bit about a situation going on in football. Uh, We're going to do some more transfer roundup and then Kyle's game this week. So, let's get on with it. Oh, it's also half one in the afternoon, so we're not drinking alcoholic beverages. So, I'm still going for the... Uh, KSI, please sponsor us, and for some some of our listeners will appreciate this. This is today's drink of choice. Greg is not happy. I'm not unhappy. I just no, don't you want, are. I no, don't that's want not to what have you were saying before. Get a meltdown before we start recording. He was crying. He labelled me a child. He labelled me a child because I've got crime. So that's this is when the hate's coming in. Message him. He used some real expletive words that we didn't like. Or, or just agree with me that they're children. There we go, there's an adult beverage. I've seen children drinking that. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> this is for hydration, and if you're wanting to get a caffeine boost, there's its twin. There we go, that'll really rail you up now. Oh, that's, that, that is literally the worst of the lot of them. Someone gave me it, so. Heck. Do some AS- I could start the, the ASMR uh, playlist on our YouTube and start tapping it and stuff and really set Greg off. Right, let's talk about <laughs> the Saudi situation. It's becoming let's a not of... talk about football. <laughs> <laughs> We're going in controversial. Uh, the Saudi Arabia League seems to have a lot of uh, what shall we say funding recently, and a lot of players have started making a move across. And we'll see them black and white in Newcastle very soon. Notably, Ronaldo kind of kicking off the trend, I would say. I know he wasn't the first, but it was the kind of the biggest poster, poster boy for it. Uh, so, big number of transfers go in in the summer so far. Greg, you had, said you had a list of some of the players that have moved across or been rumoured to be or turned it down. So, yeah, the, the main four are Karen Benzema, N'Golo Conte, Ruben Neves and Kaladu Koulibaly. And there's, there's talks ongoing for others, but they are the, the, the key four so far. I think apart from Neves, they're all end of career, what you'd expect. You know, previously, he's, oh, he's well in his 30s. I think he's 32. 33. No, 32, 33. Like, it's what you'd expect. Previously, they'd have solid off to China or the US. They've just solid off somewhere else. He's 32, yeah. Canty's not old, is he? Or is he? I don't know. Canty's in his 30s as well. Yeah. He's not played for a while either because he's been injured. So, yeah. Point I may make before Messi went to Inter Miami, I believe he was being linked with Saudi Arabia as well and turned it down allegedly. Yeah. He's got morals. Interesting. Mm. But he's moved to America for money, so I mean, 
Well, that's the thing. Previously, you would have just moved to America for money. Now they're moving to Saudi Arabia for money. Well, right, Ronaldo can't go to America because he'll get lifted. Correct. So that's why he's went to Saudi Arabia. Well, what's China? Chuck, his... Chuck him in jail. Horrible man. But, well, that's the thing. We're, we're just going around the circle now. You had Angie in Russia for a while, is where yeah. big footballers were, were farmed out to die. Is that not Samuel okay. Eto'o? Yes. Yeah. Roberto Carlos. You had, Carlos yeah, you had, you had kind of Russian clubs for a while. That's obviously not on the table. You had Chinese clubs, which still is on the table, but they are moving more. They've still got their foreign player rules, so they're doing the sensible thing now and signing young Brazilians from Brazil. They're all in big not, names. Is it not kind of kicking off? Did any uh, not go to a Japanese club? Or did I get that wrong? Yes. Still there. Vessel Kobe, I believe. I was going to say Kobe. And then, obviously, Poster Coglu was at uh, Yokohama before, was he not? Manager. Yeah. So, it kind of seems to be taken off a bit, but I don't know. That's not quite the same. You know, I would yeah, say I Japan know. is a money league. No, no, no I can't have like that. You have the Scottish equivalent as well, which Jason Cummings saw then off to Australia. But he's allegedly off to India. Greg, my man Greg Stewart. Does he work for Greg Stewart? So. If anyone missed the piece of commentary that's out there, by the way, for Jason Cummings when he scored one, what could be his final goal for Central Coast Mariners? They, he scored, and the commentator said he might be away to uh, India to become the cum dog millionaire, which is just absolutely brilliant commentary. Do you even come up with that one? No. The jury's uh, I was right. Uh, Greg Stewart currently plays for Mumbai City. Christ. I, I remember seeing a. A video of his, uh, you okay, Kyle? I was going to sneeze, but it's went away. I thought you were going to come from a discussion of Greg Stewart. Not He's got a signed photo of him. I got it from it for his birthday a few years ago. I'm I think looking at it. it. I'm looking at it. Anyway, um, I'm sure I saw a video of uh, Greg Stewart hat trick in from Mumbai. It was quite impressive. Huh. He's, he's quite the man over there. So yeah. So is it running football? That's my question. I mean. It not depends. Yet. Not yet. It's not. And I'm not sure it will, because let's be honest, they want exposure. Hmm. You made they a good point in, to... in Russia. They've kind of dwindled, haven't they? So that might do that. China's not what it used to like China went mental for a while and then were more sensible in their approach. You know, it's all about increasing the viewership of the league, really, and exposure of the country. You know, they want people to go to watch the players play there, so they want tourism to Saudi Arabia, and they want TV money. And I can't see, you know, I could be very wrong, but I can't see European audiences or American audiences tuning in to watch the Saudi League. Ronaldo, you know, pretty much. Be the only one. Not on the, level that, not on the level that they want it to. But that's why people do it. They'll watch, they want to watch Ronaldo. And, you know, some people will do that, but I imagine it's probably got to be localised to the Middle East region. You know, even now, how long's the MLS been going? And it's quite high profile. How many of us would watch the MLS? Uh, true. Well, it is on, like, two in the morning, to be fair, so... It is. But to be fair, like, I've been known to dump the Australian League on in the morning. It's not, you know, but I wouldn't actively watch it. Is that just for background noise or is that for watching purposes? Background noise. Not like... Sums it up. Do you, know, do, you, do you know what I mean? They're not gonna. This whole they're gonna completely take over, and no one's gonna watch European football anymore. It's just wrong. Like it's just for exposure, as you say. So where, where big, else are those players gonna go though? Like where else? Yeah. Where else do you go if you're thirty five year old? Well, thirty five year old Karen Benz. I imagine Benz would have. I imagine would have had a few takers. Probably where you started. Scottish League, Scottish League one, Queen of the South. We'll take him. <laughs> yes, we will. I wouldn't. Oh, no, he's no Kyle Dockery. <laughs> You've just nicked someone's partner, and they're going to call you out for that. And I, I, I hope, hope they do because that's minging. I hope they do. Means we get a comment. Minging. Means we get a comment. <laughs> uh, right, I think that's that was kind of a brief topic for this for this week on that one. But uh, please give us your feedback comment or message has got to fly. Um, we should also yeah. say that the amount of money they can offer is ridiculous. Yeah, they must not have a cap of that. And it, it will come to bite them at some point, because at some point the engagement won't come. 
Yeah. Well, there's not so many players who are going to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's, there's a little bit now. I'm going to go to MLS or China or whatever. Exactly. There's more yeah. options. That's what I'm trying to say. There's definitely a bigger pool of leagues you could go to now as opposed to before. Well, it's just MLS. Yeah. Well, look at that's what Bell did. For about five weeks. He was at Prem. He was at the Prem. Then he went to uh, La Liga and then made his way to America to then retire and play golf. But I mean, that the golf bit was an exception, but you get that kind of portfolio. That's what you mean, though. It's a, that, that's why the Neves signing sticks out, though, does it not? That the rest of them are all end of career, final payday type signings. Neves isn't. Yeah. It's, it is money, I guess. He's still getting up the money. But it's not his, it's not his last paycheck. Nah, there'll be, a, be another move, I reckon, in between. Well, that's the thing. You look at the people who've gone out young. Is Oscar not still in China? That's what I was going to ask. He went to China, didn't he? He was one of the first big names. That's what I mean. He is still there, yes. He has been it, playing there for six years now. It's not about 29 year old or something, he's still? 31. 31, so he's not that old. But you know what yeah, I mean? You can't, see first... his, you can't see Killer Bally's at the end, and he's only a year older than But Killer Bally yeah. is at the end. He's in his early 30s. He's 32, but you said Oscar was 31. No, but Oscar is 31 now. He was 26 when he went, or whatever. Right, yeah. I was going to say. Sorry, yeah, 25 when he went, which is ridiculous. Yeah. He's still on his peak. We'll still at his peak. But that's what I'm trying to say with Neves. Neves is going. I'm looking at trying to make a comparison with someone else who went at a similar age, and they've not, you know, they, yeah. it has been a pay packet for them. It's not been anything else. There's, yeah, so I can. Yeah. That, that's our view. So, yeah, if you have any strong views towards it, please give us a message or comment down below. Uh, Kel's been in charge of the transfer roundup again this week. Do you want to read out this week because you can actually speak? My voice is working this week. So is it here? Uh, Unfortunately. That was funny. Um, um, we'll just start at the top. Uh, we might have discussed these last week, some of them, can't in mind. Uh, so Arsenal are going to be 65 million for Havertz. Which is that not confirmed now? I don't know. This was made yesterday morning. So I don't know. It could be. For a striker with no confidence, and no and goals. Poor form. Yeah, the stats aren't inspiring for 65 million. And where yeah. does he fit in that side? He's a striker. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. He's in well, you've got Jesus, Odegaard, um, Saka. Martinelli. I right. thought, I thought Havertz was a good I thought how much was a cam anyway? Is that not where Odegaard plays? It can be. He can play a nine or a nine. ten. He's a false nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, but I don't see an obvious space in that Arsenal team for him. I guess he could rotate with Jesus to change up systems, I guess. It's it's a lot of money Trossard, to was, Trossard was doing that really well. I forgot about him, yeah. Probably just because he's only played for Chelsea. He must be good. Um, Not recently. I think if you were signed, if they signed him from Leverkusen back in the day, you'd be excited. Now you're like, what are you doing? Maybe after the Champions League final when he scored the winner, but not. It's kind of dwindled out a wee bit. Yeah. He's never really been that good. He's very much hit and miss. Uh, moving on. Arsenal are in positive talks with the, the I don't know his first name, Timber for the Ajax. You, Julian. Julian. Yeah. Yeah. Julian. I thought it was Justin yeah. for some reason. Um. He's got a younger brother called Shiver Me. I've seen that on Twitter. What's worse, is, he, what's worse is he definitely does have a brother that plays football. I think it's the Quentin or something, though. Yeah, uh, it's, about. Uh, it's a 41.5 million pound fee. I think it's pounds, which is quite good because he's highly rated and he's only 22. So, like, Where does he fit in again, centre half? The Chaka role? Centre half? I don't quite know. Does he fit in at centre half? Does he fit in at this chaka role? Well, it seems he's a centre half, so. I assume they can do both because he's another one of those. He's like Martinez from Man United, who isn't that big. I thought he was. I think he's under six foot. 
Bring, bring back Terminator Psycho, that's what I'm saying. Monica Shelney, what a defence. Philip Senderos. I'm wrong, he's six foot one. Ignore me. Oh no. One source says six foot one, one source says five foot ten. He's maybe been growing. He's only 22, he's still a young boy. Eating, he's a growing eating, boy. Eating his bread. He's probably better than Rob Holden. I mean, he, it's hard not to be. I mean, we did big him up one episode, but. Yeah. No. You said just back in this, still Arsenal is a very busy club to know. Xhaka is like the Leverkusen, so yeah, Xhaka out of contract and not coming back. Yeah, it was a captain, wasn't it? So it was quite weird. Was it not? Was it not a way? Odegaard was their captain last season. I bet it was before. I mean, yeah. mind he was the fans hating him for a while. He had an amazing turnaround at Arsenal. He's now leaving Arsenal a legend compared to if he left a few seasons ago. Mm-hmm. He calmed down a bit, I think. Arteta. Just... Yeah, yeah. sent off and such, did not Yeah, Arteta's turned him around. But that's what I mean. Like, if that role's free, I know you've got Jorginho and Vieira and others who could fill that role, but Timber someone, is someone who could step up and also play in that role. I suppose Odegaard can play a bit more defensively, so that's Havertz could replace Xhaka in a sense. That is very true. And this is this is not Arsenal back. We're on to a Gundogan going to Barcelona or a free. Fantastic signing. Not for City. Definitely. They should have kept but him. If you're in his shoes, what haven't you won? What hasn't he won? He's won the Premier League, the Champions League. He's won the Bundesliga. World Cup? Was he in that He's squad? He's won the World Cup, yeah, sure yeah. He'll be in, in that squad. Is he just adding trophies to the portfolio now? That's the second time I've said portfolio. Again, it's it's one of those teams you probably can't turn down. 33, so he's not getting any younger. And he's, he's he'll be doing the job, you know. Again, you sell the Barcelona vision. You're such a good midfielder. We've got young midfielders coming through. We think you could be a positive influence on them. You know, Gavi and Pedri, etc. Definitely learn from them. Probably replace yeah. really, probably replace Busquets or something. Who's left? He's also a really big game player, which again, since Barcelona's midfield is made up of teenagers, is probably a really good thing. So I was going to say this: he's slot in where Rakitic left, but I mean, Rakitic left in two thousand twenty, so. I should be replacing. We'll sit in the holding role with Busquets going. Yeah, probably. I'm just trying to think of experience midfield that played for Barcelona and Rakitic came into my head. And I think the replacement for Gundogan was Kovacic because he's been confirmed. Oh, probably a while yeah. ago now, but yeah. I only heard about it yesterday. Again, Ch- Ch- Chelsea have got rid of someone. That was a big um, one because he was really good. Not really underrated. Chelsea are having a big haul. Yeah. They are, but that, like, a midfield of Rodri, Kovacic and De Bruyne is to be really feared. Fire back six months and we were talking about how Chelsea's squad was absolutely massive and they were underachieving. Oh, they're getting rid and of now, a couple now, of them. No, I'm saying and now they're finally listening to us and now, now they're getting rid of all the players. Yeah. I think they're all, it's the wrong players, though. Maybe not Havertz. Uh, Co- Co- uh, Kovacic is a big game to lose, but Havertz maybe not. 30 million, you've just paid however much for Enzo Fernandez. People like Conor Gallagher. If Mount goes as well, maybe. Look at, he, he was one I was looking at, but I think it's 55 million, I don't know. It's, it's until Man United stop saying yes. Like, Man yeah. United are just, Chelsea are going to keep saying no, and Man United are going to keep chucking money at it. And as I'm sure I said last week, I'm not sure that's a position they need to fill. Oh, not with him anyway. There's better players than Mason Mount. There's also a striker, which is what they really need. Or oh. Chelsea's stupid and giving Billy Gilmore away then. Or is he never going to start in that team? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he would have started enough. Because he well, obviously he went to Norwich on loan, but it was Brighton permanently now, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe Rangers, never know. Well, the thing is, Brighton started playing him regularly at the end of last season, and he was absolutely amazing when he came in that team. Well, looking for Scotland, I mean, it, there's yeah. been little little matches that he hasn't played that he hasn't won man of the match. England at Wembley being the big one. Again, it's a while ago now, but... 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. He's fantastic. I, I don't think Chelsea did the wrong thing getting rid of him, though. They got some money off Brighton for him, I'm sure. Yeah. He'll end up with a big team anyway if he kicks on. Right. Uh, this is quite an old one, but I don't think we ever mentioned it. It was Ryan Kent going to Fernabachi on a free transfer. Just because it's not Rangers. Surprise, kinda, it was always kind of linked with them towards the end anyway. So, oh, weird one, but there, to- there's where that that's another option for where Premier League footballers go to die. If you'd said a couple of years ago in Golo is away to Turkey, away to Galatasaray, a fair and a batch in a free transfer, you'd believe it. Yeah, true, actually. The Bashik, have you seen the Bashiktas team? That's meant like they've got some really weird players, Nathan Redmond being one. Yeah. It's like Premier League Al- alumni. Alan McGregor played at Bashiktas for a bit. So did Kenny Miller. He went to Bursa Sport. You've got Demba Ba was at Bashak Shahir. You've got Van Persie was there for a while. Got Literally a- any player that needs to just either final payday or to rejuvenate their career or not, Delhi Alley, um, goes to Turkey. Yeah. It's, a respect- it's a respectful league, so... Uh, it's a better option than Saudi Arabia, but you're not going to get as much money. Yeah. He's okay, European, like European football and whatnot. So exactly. This is this one's about every day, I think. Because I think things have changed since then. But Man City and Arsenal are fighting for deck decky rice. I've put not anymore. But Man City pulled out, didn't they? They have. Oh, Ninety million, you and you're getting turned down for that. You probably would pull out. And you've got Ars. There's that. Carry on. I was just going to say the, the players that Man City have in their repertoire, I mean, if they're not going to take 90 million, I would just leave it. Arsenal have got 105 million they've put in now, as of when we've recorded this. Um, what is it? Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, but apparently West Ham aren't happy. Arsenal want to spread the money over five years. West Ham want it over two years. Um, yeah, this is going to end. It's going to end in the Watford Sahar stuff where it just doesn't go anywhere. It's... They're too stubborn. West Ham aren't stupid enough to do that. West Ham will eventually accept an offer. They're just trying to... bid and more was much better for them because they could just keep rejecting it and the other team would still come back. I think it's probably better going to Arsenal because then that replaces your... Xhaka. Xhaka. Yeah, it's quite his name. And you've got that Arteta vision and Champions League football, importantly... So that's the reason. main reason Bellingham rejected Liverpool, right? Or well, one of the reasons. Amongst everyone else. Just because they're key. Yeah. Yeah, anything else on Decky Dice? Fantastic. I'm sure we'll, oh yeah, I'm sure we'll talk about it more in future episodes. Yeah, my, my balls are safe. <coughs> if he's not going to Newcastle, I'm not having to sell one. Yeah, I did. someone did pull me up on that, saying that was a, a memorable moment from that. You commenting that. So. Breaking news: yeah. Declan Rice joins Newcastle United on a five-year deal. Lovely. Right, Greg, get the scissors. Actually, speaking of Newcastle, they're looking to bring in. Is it Tino Liver Livermento at right back? Yes, or Scottish not? eligible. Is it? He is a good. He's a good player, but he is. Really great to do at Southampton. Just what Scotland really need, a full-back. He's a right-back, to be fair, so it's a bit different. Hickey and Patterson are solid mm. in that team for years, aren't they? Um, I don't know why Newcastle are doing this, unless two people are leaving, because there's currently Trippier, Kraft, Mankio, and Harrison Ashby. Who Are they any good, though? Bob Harrison Trippier. Ashby was signed from West Ham, was meant to be a prospect. Kraft could probably go... Mankio hasn't done awfully. Mankio scored one of the most important goals, I think, against Leeds last season. Oh, that was possible. Oh, there you go. No, carry on. I'll probably take him over a lot of them. Yeah. Well, not Trippier, but he'd yeah. be a good backup. Keeping him on his toes, at least. Exactly, and it's a young player who's going to develop in Newcastle. You know, it's 10 to 15 million the price. They're probably going to make some money on him. Yeah. Right, who's next um, on your list? This is what it Greg did anyway. It was Rabio to Man United. How stupid can you get? 
Is he not like an arsehole, pretty much? Yeah. Apparently his mum is also an arsehole, which is a problem. She's not his agent or something? I think so, yeah. Apparently, like, can you think of a worse thing from Manchester United? After the Ronaldo drama, after drama with God knows how many players, yes, with McTominay and Fred, they probably want rid of McTominay. It is a position they need to fill, but filling it with another arsehole isn't really helpful. Yeah, I would, agree. I would agree. He's had hundreds of clubs, so... Well, not hundreds, but enough clubs for a lifetime. It's PSG, Juventus. So he's not... Yeah, no, he's not... He's, these are big teams, though. He keeps getting hoyed out. He's played for PSG, the second team. PSG, the Toulouse first and second, and then Juventus. I mean, so yeah. two two B teams essentially in three clubs, but I suppose yeah. He's just no. What are you doing, yeah. Man United? I don't think I think it'll fall through. I I'd, I'd imagine so. Again, okay. this time of year, a lot of this is paper talk, right? You can be a journalist, you can make some money for clickbait just by plucking something out of thin air and putting it on and giving it a clickbaity headline. Spin the wheel, some would say. Here we go. That's what everyone looks for these days. Just uh, looking at this. Madison's having his Spurs medical. Who's? Madison of the James. Good. I never wanted him anyway. Uh, right. Who's Madison? He's not a bad player. He did all right in Newcastle. He would have been all right in Newcastle. Uh, Tonali seems to be more than just paper talk, so I'm happy. I've just seen that in here and all. He used to move after the uh, under 21 euros. So, whenever that is. This week, I think. Very soon. Your eyes open. Yeah. I'm just having a little flick through the BBC gossip column, talking about David De Gea. That's what I was doing. Uh, Liverpool looking at that Sobozai for Leipzig, that Hungarian boy. No, they're not. He's well, coming to Newcastle. Well, apparently here they want him, so... They to be fair, he'd be a fantastic player for whoever he signs for. Hence why I really want him at Newcastle. Yeah. And the last one I was going to say was Winx has went to Leicester for 10 mil. Is it? Harry Winx, I think. It's not a, it's not a big signing, but... Uh. It's one that, it could be a decent one, because he's kind of fell off, maybe, I would say. I forgot about him, to be honest. He was at Sam Doria last season, so he's probably still quite a good player. He's yeah. really not. He was overrated. Like, the championship is his level. Well, I hope he comes to Newcastle for one week. <laughs> oh, one no. Season. Not week, one season. I'll just show you. Right, you. Have we seen... That's have all I've got. got. That's me finished. Okay. That concludes my roundup. That's Are we going to talk about Harry Kane again? Are oh, I've got it on the runner off? order. I assume, I assume that's why he was running up, reading off. Yeah. No, I was doing it on my notes. Bayern have apparently put in a £70 million bid for Harry Kane, but the thing when I wrote that, it's now been rejected, so... Apparently he wants to join, though, and why wouldn't you? You might actually win something. Yeah. People don't have a striker, do they? It's all false names. And... Eric Maxim Triple Motting. So there's not going to strikers. <laughs> Hey, he's he's got a surprisingly good record. So just Oliver Burke. Doesn't mean a good players. Yeah, he uh, is. Last How dare you criticise Oliver Burke like that? Last on my list is uh, AC Milan looking to sign Ruben Loftus Cheek. Good luck to them. Wasn't what I expected to see, but it was written nonetheless. Another English footballer moving abroad. Can't blame them. Good luck. He spent half his time on the injury table. Yeah. And that Another Chelsea our... midfielder leaving. Yeah, and that concludes our transfer roundup for this week. Um, Kyle is in charge of the game this week because I finally won. Yeah, we're not bad, so. That uh, Scotland inspired comeback. I know, I'll put my notepad away. I've got pins. As much as writing this down would be so much more helpful. Yeah. Just 
if you're reading it, one thing we picked up on, if you're, when you're reading a new category, like, say it's like round three of it, read the fifth and the fourth and the third, it makes it easier. Yeah. Well, and we're sick. Just know. read all three again. Don't just add on. Like, mm-hmm. read the whole thing. Not take a while. I'm joking. Um, right, let's go. I went for the game we played last week rather than the categories because I've preferred that's better. Folk enjoy that, so. Yes. Please to the, well, please the fans. Um, that's our keep scores. Make it easier. Ooh, choo, choo, choo. You're looking right. forward to this, Robert? Try to defend your yeah. title. I don't mind like to be honest. My I biggest this game. You I think I'll be terrible at it. My biggest hurdle was actually winning. So, I mean, and I've, I've finally overcame that. By the categories, then you can talk. Right. We well, don't do the categories anymore, so I can't. We can bring it back. We're not, because we're, we're, we're uh, letting the people have what they want. Anyway. Right, we'll go. So, this is five points. 2020 on a free. Maybe it's too can fast. Cal- 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 Ballet. No. Uh, I don't know. Who does he play for? So you're not having a guess? Wait. Uh, Messi. I can't remember who he's saying no. for uh, PSG. Anyway, so four points. 2020 on a free. He's a defender. Don't know. No. Any? No. No. No, no, no. takers. Okay. Eight points. Twenty twenty on a free defender from Brazil. Thiago Silva. Bingo. I was going to say David Luiz, but I'm a bit, I'm a bit far back in that. I was right with the Chelsea link early on. I just got my timing wrong. So three points, well done. Well done, Gregory. Thank you. We, Hopefully, if my, editing, point. if my editing skills go well, there might be a scoreboard. If they're not, there might not. I might just put some text up in Comic Sans to say Greg couldn't be bothered. I just realised I didn't put that, they've not put the actual final answers on for these, so... But I know who they all are. Thankfully. You've not wrote the answer, <laughs> But I know who they are. Objection. Every time I lose a point, how do you know? I so, don't know. I, I'm not feeling good about this one. No, I know who they are. Um, this is so. points. So this is five points. 2017 on a free. Any no. no. I don't know. It's too vague to start with. See, watching it back, it's so much easier when you see it. <laughs> It's so much easier when you write it because you watch it back or you, you do this and you know the answer. Yeah, right. I don't know. Pass. Let's keep going. Um, no. 2017 on a free, he's a defender. Permanent Osaka. No. Can't think. David Louise. <laughs> no. I was bored, pardon me. Um, so, three points. He's a Spanish defender who joined on a free in 2017. Robert Ramos? No. It's the first name that came into my head. No. It seems that they brought a bike outside my house. My... Gaff, I don't know if you can hear that. No takers? No. Um, two points. So, can you that? No. That's fine. Uh, he's a Spanish defender who joined in a free in 2017 and he left Manchester City. Uh, I'm being very silly, I can't think. No. This uh, is where my knowledge gets exposed. Spanish defender 2017 left in a free in Manchester, in Manchester City. Oh, uh, what's his Angeline New? Nope. It's not 2017. I can't think, I, I can't think of any I, Spanish nah. defender. It's going to be a very low scoring game. Navas isn't a defender unless he's a wing back. I don't know. Navas is a wing back. Who? Jesus Navas has never been a right back in his life. He's a right back for Sevilla right now, for a start. He was 
he was done as a right back. So he's definitely not a right back. Just go for transfer market gave me some facts. No, I'm taking that. Oh yes, I started whispering the answers. I or, or not facts. Navas, but... Navas, Navas. That's take your, take your tips. Lose a Chris. He didn't take... play for. He didn't play as a defender for Man City. Right. Are you come down? No. Nope. Yeah, got, got my points on the board. I'm happy now. That's, me really That's cool. ludicrous. Um, so, five points, 2018 for £20 million. Pounds. £20 million pounds in 2018. I can't remember. I said this last week and I don't think it was. Dembele. No. I can't remember how much they got from. Pass. Uh, he's an attacker for twenty million in twenty eighteen. Callum Wilson. Negative. Again, it's the wrong time. Twenty eighteen. I don't know. Can't miss. No guesses. So, pass. No. Uh, so, as a Spanish attacker worth twenty million in twenty eighteen. Possibly. <laughs> There's no way he sold for twenty million pounds. Well, that's what I was thinking, but just the way he came, uh, I thought. Alvaro Negredo. Um, so he's a Spanish attacker worth twenty million in twenty eighteen. He left Middlesbrough. Adama Traore. I wouldn't have got that. I didn't even know he was Spanish. Does he try to tell me he's not an attacker or something now? I mean, you did ask. That is ludicrous. That is ludicrous. He is a midfielder. We, we, we did ask. You did, you did ask through the week to be fair about what wingers. to class wingers as. Yeah, I said attackers because typically to be, attackers. To be, to be fair, g- given my Jesus Navas judgment, what I said about Jesus Navas, based on the if he's a winger, he has to be an attacker. Jesus Navas would have had to be an attacker, and he's not. So he's a right back. So he's a winger. He's a midfielder. Oh, is he not? Right now, he plays a right back. So. Okay, imagine that. Right, so this is question four. Yep. 2021 on a free. Ben Davis. Twenty one on a free. I was gonna say Rudy Payton, but there's a development fee in there. Yeah, undisclosed. I might try, I might try from the transfer round up but through we can talk about it after. Uh, he's a midfielder. Read that out. I was a bit of You do it in order. 2021 free midfielder. Thank you. I still don't know. <laughs> Fernandinho. No. Iniesta. No. He's a Turkish midfielder who was free in 2021. Uh, Cop shoot, I don't think it would have been back. I don't know his name. Arda Churan. No. I said that guy. I don't know how to pronounce his name. The guy from Leicester. Is that like Cop shoot or something? I don't know. I don't hear what. Is it Leicester, the Leicester guy? I think so. He's oh, centre half, so. So, aren't you? It's no hammy anyway. Uh, he left. Sorry. He's a Turkish midfielder who was free in 2021 and he left AC Milan. Hakan Shalanoglu. Who? Nah. Nah, I wouldn't have got that. What's the scores? Uh, and got 7-2. That's fine. Comeback is still on. Uh, I don't, I'm going to get your hopes up this week, viewers. I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I'm no singing yet. So in 2021, this guy was worth 1.2 million. Apparently. Ben Davies. <laughs> Pardon me. No, not Ben Davies. I thought that was a dramatic pause. No. Pass. He's a goalkeeper worth 1.2 million in 2021. Casper Schmeichel. Mm. It's the wrong year. 1.2 million. 
Jack Butland. No. He is an English goalkeeper who is worth 1.2 million in 2021. Nick. No. Nope. Tom say. Heaton was no. who I was who I actually meant. Nick Pope was uh, what I was thinking until he said this. I'm just gonna go with that. It's not Nick Pope either, no. He was an English keeper with 1.2 million in 2021 who left Spurs. Scott Carson. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know. I can't think. English he keeper. left Spurs. That's my problem. Because the name is in my head is Fraser Foster and it's not. He's still at Spurs. No. no Fraser, no. Forst, Fraser Forster, even though I know no. it's wrong. Well, this is where you definitely get it. So... He left Spurs for 1.2 million. Yeah, we'll give you a, got a point for that, though. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right. No point. He joined Celtic. It's really off putting that he keeps reading it in reverse order. Read it from the, the way Greg did it. Left to right, right. yeah. Tough. It's my way or no way. It was really off putting. And you'd be greeted if it was the other way around. Yeah, you would. I mean, I don't know how you've got them written down, but I just read it from left to right. No. Got them like that, well, but make it easier for myself. But no, so if it's top to bottom, read them from top to bottom. It sounds messy that way, but clearly not. Okay, 2019, 7.2 million. Ryan Kent. And it was five. Me. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's mad. I thought I thought he went for more than that. That's so I'm glad I went for it then. Yeah. Does that make it? Eight, eight seven now. Eight, seven. That's mad. I'm still so amazed Jesus Navas. I thought he went for like twelve. Nah, no one was paying that much. Seven point two. Plus. Hey, twenty eleven for six million. Jermaine Defoe. No. Oscar. No. No. Oh, no. 2011, 6 million midfield. Or... Fernandinho. No. Yaya Turi. No. 2011, 6 million midfielder, France. Paul Pogba. No. Adrian Rabio. No. Way too young. 2011, 6 million midfielder, French, who left Marseille. You have to buy? No. I had another name in my head, but Kabai was what I came out with and it wasn't him. What's his name? Matthew Valbuena. No. Twenty eleven six million midfielder France left Marseille to join Newcastle. Florian Tovan. No. It's the only player I can think of who left Marseille and joined Newcastle. I was going to say Remy, but I think he's a, a striker. He definitely is. is. Nah, I, just, I, don't, I don't know. Let's go Remy, I don't know. So, no, it was not Remy. So does that mean nobody gets it? Yeah. Yes. It was Hatton Ben Arthur. Oh, how did I forget that? Again, I'll, I'll, I'll raise it. Based on the criteria we assessed through the week, definitely an attacker. I would say he was a midfielder. I would definitely disagree, considering he played on the right wing. I've seen him play... In behind. Charles Mark said midfielder, so he's a midfielder. I'd have said midfielder. Definitely an attacker. Just what Charles Mark says. That's what I was told to do. That is true. Uh, How many more rounds have we got, sorry? Three. That's a tiebreaker for you. Yeah, go on. 2018 for 3.1 million. I think it was before this, but Virgil van Dijk. I think he was. I'm trying to think when you're saying for Celtic, but I think it was well before that. Lauren Koscielny. No. 2018, 3.1 million midfielder. It could be an attacker. <laughs> um, or a defender. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. No, it's 3.1 million. No, you just said 2018. 
at all. Goodbye again. I'm going to no. hope that one day someone makes goodbye. James Madison. No. Because I don't know where and when he joined Leicester. Uh, 2018, 3.1 million midfielder, Scottish. Stuart Armstrong? No. Ryan Christie? No. That was just going to be an easy one. 2018, 3.1 million midfielder Scottish who left Hibs. John McGinn. John McGinn. There you go there first. I don't think he did. I mean, I generally thought it was a draw, but fair. You're the ruling. You're the ref. Okay, there was points. clear silence on my screen between me speaking and you speaking. Well, it must be a delay because I said it at the same time. Um, 2020 on a free. Can we, can we clarify before we do this? What question is it and what's the score? This is question nine. And what's the score? Nine, two. No. Eight. Nine, eight, I think it is. Ten, nine. Point to in. Whom? To Robert. He got rank in. Yeah, but where did he get his two points for after when it was 8 7? John McGinn. I got John McGinn. That made it 9 yeah, 7. If there's a delay, then I can't. Just give him that. He's going to get over it. I don't, I'll win it there. He didn't tell me that's what he was doing. I didn't no, object both, to it. You both said, so I presumed you both said at the same time. Just my internet shite. I, mean, I, I was first on mine as well, so I went with that. We could just give no one a point and we'll carry on at 8-7. I don't mind. No, I'm not having tears. Give them it. There's tears over talk. Jesus Navas anyway. I don't care. You just can talk to yourselves. No, I've, I've told you. Give them it. I want one from square. 20-20 on a free. Uh, I'm going to... Any extra? No. Play it on Messi. No. 20-20, free attacker. Eric Maxim, triple motting. No. Nice. He's a tw- uh, 2020 attacker. Free. I did that wrong, sorry. He's Scottish. Lee Connolly. No, no. 2020 free attacker who's Scottish left Aldershot. Aldershot. Don't know many. No, actually. Uh, You've really but, got me now. No. Nah. What was that? That Martin guy he said a few weeks ago. I thought it was thought Chris Martin was a centre back. Or is that those? Is he not the lead singer or someone? I don't know. Pass. Yeah, he's the, lead, he's the lead singer of Coldplay. He also played for Derby and Sheffield Wednesday. Right. Anyway. 2020 free attacker Scottish who left order shot to join Queen of the South. Yep, I, I'd guessed that a while ago, I just couldn't work out who it was. Who did you see someone? No, oh. uh, I don't know. That's... It's that Covid season, man. We weren't very good. The name I had in my head is it definitely wasn't Scottish. Yeah, same. But that's also the year after, so it makes no difference. What year did you say it was? 2020. Wait. This went in my head, that's really, really annoying. I think he might have to tell us. No, I don't know. I'm thinking of someone, but I can't think of their name, and it's going to screw me over. It's okay. Yes. Ali Roy? No. Uh-oh. He's Irish. Is he? I've, oh, def- I've definitely got nothing. I'm lost. You sure? Pass. Um, Connor Shields. Ah. And the last one. Wait, what's the score? Uh, nine to eight to Greg. Yeah. Or 10 to 9 to you. Basically, winner takes this. If no one gets this, we'll go to a tie break. That ideal. Because it's close enough that it does that. Okay. 
2018, 62.5 million. Oh, Pogba. No. I'm just going to 10 answers just to get them. Yeah. Kepa. No. 2018, 62.5 goalkeeper. What year was it? 2018. I literally said the words and I'm still convinced. Alison is the other option, one of the other options. Yes. Well done. Thanks Allison. very much. That concludes that. Do you want to do your tiebreaker? You won't. Why not? I get five here, I'm in it. So we're going to... Yeah. Yeah, if you get was a tie, if you get this straight. Yeah, even if yeah. Which you should make it. Twenty seventeen for two hundred and twenty-two million. Kylian Mbappe. No. It is not. Oh shit. Two hundred twenty-two. Yeah, I made well, yeah. I made the mistake. I know what I did. Twenty seventeen. It's gonna say Neymar, but I don't think yes. it is. Yeah, yeah, it is Neymar, yeah. <laughs> do I do I win? God knows what the scores are. Oh, it's just just now. It's a tie. I mean... But that was yeah. the tie that was a tiebreaker, so God knows. Same We're all points. winners. Ah, because I won. No, I'm joking. It depends mm. if it, it, that the two points through it for thingy. We need to watch the VAR. For John McGann. That's what we call it. The thing is, the VAR will be my recording of it, so... On my screen, we said at the same time, like, in mine. That's very weird. Okay, well, let's move on. So, oh. who, who gets the title then? Kyle. I'll just remake it for next week if you want. Have a grudge match. You can keep it, Robert. I didn't convincingly beat you. I feel like I've been giving it out of spite. Oh, you don't give it out of spite. What we'll do is I'll make another one of a grudge match next week. Right, I don't. Fine, well, then. depends on what we do next week. Yeah. We've got a special episode coming oh, next week, so next we'll do it the week after. And then we might de- we might debut the new quiz the week after that. We'll see. Yes, we have a few ex- a few things up our sleeves. Next week is a special nope. episode. I'm not going to sell out with that. Uh, yeah, we've got a special episode looking like we're going to record that next week, so that'll be out next Friday, hopefully. But if not, it'll be the usual, sta- usual standard edition. But thank you very much for listening. This has been episode 34. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you like and follow and subscribe. So, yeah, thank you. See you later. What's he doing? Keep my eyes peeled. <laughs> cool. Goodbye. Bye. Cut that, bit, cut that bit out.